What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Cubs. In this video, we're going to be showing you guys about 40 different services that you can disable to help reduce input delay, stutters, and FPS drops and all that stuff. Just have less stuff running in the background as you're gaming. These services are 100% safe. You can do them manually. It's not any scripts or anything to where you're not sure what you're disabling. It's just a straight up, I'm going to show you individual services. I'm not going to show you every single one. I have a list that I'm going to try to put in the description, but I'm also going to show it on the video of 40 different services. I'm going to manually show them how to do it and then another way on how to possibly do it as well. So the first thing you want to do is go into your search bar and bring up your services, which you type in services.msc and it'll bring up all your services here. Okay. <clears throat> so the list that I'm going to show you is right here. So this is the whole list of all the services. It doesn't look like much, but if you count them out, it's I think it's like 38 or 40 services. So what I would recommend doing, because I'm not going to go through all these one by one, just because it would take too long and you disable them all literally the same way. You just have to know which ones you're disabling. I'm just going to go through a couple just to show you how to do it. So what I recommend doing is just either taking like a screenshot or just pulling this up on like a mon another monitor, possibly have the services one up and then, you know, have your services.msc up on your other monitor or just on your phone, take a screenshot and have the services saved. But I will try to put this little notepad in the description as well. So once you know the services you want to disable, the f as an example, we're just going to show you the Xbox services, okay? So any Xbox service, you'll see that that's first on the list, any Xbox service. So right now you can see I have them all disabled. What you want to do is just, you can either right click and go to properties, or you can just double click on it, Xbox service, double click. And if it says that it's uh, in the, if it gives you the option to stop the service, hit stop and then disable it and then hit apply and okay. And you want to do that for every single service on that list, double click, stop and then disable it apply and okay and then the next one we're going to show you is just bluetooth so what we're going to do is you just go to you know bluetooth actually this one's still set to manual bluetooth support service pretty much anything bluetooth if you're not using it you can disable so bluetooth support service just double click and then you can hit it's it doesn't give you the option to stop it see so it stopped and then go to disable apply and okay and you'll see that that changes it to disable and then you got Bluetooth audio gateway service. Bluetooth audio gateway, just double click. No option to stop it, but just hit disabled, apply, and okay. The only one that you may have issues with is the Bluetooth user service. So if you double click on this and hit stop or disable, I think it gives you an error. Yeah. So I'm going to show you, there's a few of them that you have to do. And they have the, if they have the numbers on the side like this, 50B43, there's a certain way you got to disable it. So once you pretty much disable all the services on this list, what I recommend doing is restarting and then loading up the services again and double check that they stayed disabled. If there's any service that didn't stay disabled, this is how another way to disable it manually. So if you go into the registry editor, run it as administra uh, administrator, you go to HK local machines, system, current control set, and then services. So say for instance, this service right here, it's under manual right now. So if you double click on it, the Bluetooth user service 50B43, double click on it, you'll see the, the service name right here. Some of the service names are weird for these services, by the way. So it says Bluetooth user service 50B43. So you actually wanna find that in the services list. So you see right here, it says Bluetooth user service 50B43. So if you click on that, and then under start, if you double click on start, change the value to four, which is disabled. So if you hit four, hit okay, and then you can exit out of the registry if that's the only one you need. So if say there's another service that comes up, like say for instance, uh, just as an example, because this is another one we disable, connected users in telemetry. Say you disable this and then for some reason when you restart it, re-enables itself. You double click on it, see, and then this service name is Diag Track. So then you'll bring up the registry. This time you'll look for 
right here, Diag Track. And then see, you'll just double click on Start again. And since it's set to four, that you know it's disabled. So you can set it to four if it for any reason switches back and the registry value of four will disable it. So that's the way to another way to manually disable it, but that just takes too long. You only want to do this if it keeps re, uh, turning itself back on after restart. So then we'll exit out of the registry. And once again, if you need the list again, here is the list. And like I said before, all these services are 100% safe to disable. I'll also try to put a link in the description of some Google sites that I did. I did a lot of research to find out information on some of these certain services. It's just something that's too hard to really explain. But all these services are not dangerous at all. If you disable them, you won't have any like, you know, glitches in your window settings or like, you know, you won't lose your search bar or anything. Everything will still work 100%. I have them all disabled every single one in this list. There is two different ones. I think it's uh, enterprise app management. It doesn't let you disable that one, but I, always, I, I put it in there just so you can try it. Enterprise app management. If it lets you do it, that's great. Um, but there's also some on here that you may not have as services. Like I don't think I had the infrared monitor service um, and a few other ones. Like uh, I don't think I had like auto time zone or something, Skype. But these are ones that some computers may have. So just take a look. Don't be a... Uh, don't be upset if you don't have some of these services. That's not a bad thing. It might be a good thing, actually, if you don't have some of these to disable. That means they're not in your system is in the background. So these are the ones I recommend disabling. Just let me know in the comments if this helped. And please like and subscribe if this did help. Until the next video, guys. Peace out.